here at the Aquarium Co-op and I'm helping out at the store. We're a little bit short staffed today, but I just saw these guys. Look how giant these Bosmanis are. I, they're not the biggest ones I've ever seen, but they're pretty big. I'm gonna work here for the rest of the day. Uh, I'll try to get some footage when it slows down a little bit, like right now. Just uh, talk about some of the tanks I like. So here's one of them. All right, so here's another one of my favorite tanks here. Um, coincidence that the black neons are on sale today. Uh, when you see this, the sale will probably not be up there anymore. But um, if you get there, if you get here today, they're five for five dollars, and this tank just looks pretty marvelous with all the black neons and marble hatchet fish, which you can't see because they're up there. But these guys are awesome. So here we have a rarity. Um, it's actually a Shodenai puffer on sale here uh, for $1.99. He's the only one we have here. Just unboxed maybe two weeks ago. Finally made it out of quarantine and he's ready to go home. So if you're lucky enough, you can come here and get one a day. So here's another tank filled with some Rasbora Hets. Bolivian rams, a couple of albino bristle noses, but I wanted to show you something pretty cool. Um, I have a CPO filter on this camera here, on this lens. You can see it right here. And what it does is it reduces the glare that comes from um, the sun on the glass here. And if I rotate it a little bit this way, you can see what it really does. So all that glare right there you can see and I'm gonna spin it again and there it goes it's gone so very very cool to have in your arsenal if you have lenses and um, you can actually get these CPO filters right now for about 10 to 14 bucks depending on the size of your lens and um, I think it's well worth the investment they're about yeah 10 bucks um, very helpful so what I like to do also is do everything on manual zoom, so it's on manual zoom right now, so it doesn't refocus on fish and doesn't try to hunt or anything like that. And what I like to do is kind of leave it in the back here, and then I'll pull focus, and I'll focus on this side. So this is when it pulls focus, and then there's the fish. So a couple little tips there for you guys. All right, so here we have Robert's tank. I think it's the best looking planet tank in the house. Uh, filled with neon tetras. You guys can see these guys go at it at um, Aquarium Co-op in the new Top 5 Easy Plants video that Corey just put out. Uh, we put a Sarah O'Nip tab in there and they just went crazy for it. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it, because I did. And I'll see you on the next one, which is Sunday. So I wanted to show you guys the Misty Mountain setup after, I think it's what, three days now? Um, I changed a lot of things with like the wood here. I broke the manzanita wood, which I hate doing. <laughs> and uh, it looks like it curls up on the mountain instead of sticking out um, at you. Uh, put a lot of crip. Corey had a lot of crip from the other Pleco tank that he just threw in there. I just borrowed some and threw it on that side as well. It's looking a lot better also. You see um, I broke up some more manzanita. The other trees were really long and wide so I just broke them up and uh, made it look like it's just vining across this mountain. So. Uh, what else did I do? The Pogo Stem and Stellatus I put back there. And of course, the blue light, which is the Fluval Prism light. Um, it's really, really blue when the lights are off. So I gotta find something to diffuse the light. 
um, when I go to the sh when I go to the store, I'll I'll get like a latex glove and cut it and put a rubber band around it or something. But I'll show you what it what it looks like uh, when the lights are down. So I'll show you when it's completely off. That's completely off. All right, there you go. And uh, do I want to shoot some B-roll? I don't know. Maybe. I'm trying out this new lens that you've been watching all day. I, every shot is with this new lens, which is the 18-105. It's the only zoom lens in my arsenal, so I can actually zoom in and get closer on these uh, trees and everything and get some B-roll real quick. And uh, I think it's time to go to sleep, because it's getting late and I'm tired.